our thoughts and prayers are with them. Uh, and we have to make sure that we are doing everything we can to take care of them, uh, even as they take care of us. Uh, as a consequence, what we've been doing here today is reviewing exactly uh, what we know about what's happened in Dallas uh, and how we're going to make sure that something like this uh, is not repeated. A clear message from President Obama just minutes ago talking about two health care workers exposed to Ebola. He's working to reassure the American public about the outbreaks. The big story, and we're following it tonight. We have an ember of crews working this story right now. Here's the very latest. The second health care worker diagnosed with Ebola is a 29-year-old nurse. She treated Thomas Duncan days before he died of the disease at a Dallas hospital. Her name, Amber Vinson. And just this past weekend, she traveled to the Akron area to visit family and friends. It's still not clear how she contracted the virus. Summit County health leaders are working to right now to calm people's fears about Ebola. 27 First News reporter Lauren Wood was in Akron just a short time ago as they answered questions about this latest case. There are several points that health officials wanted to get across here today, and the most important is that there is no case of Ebola here in Ohio or in Akron. A family member who had contact with a Dallas nurse who does have Ebola has self quarantined at their own home. They have not tested positive themselves. Now, the second point is that this is all still under investigation. It'll be a while before health officials can confirm where the patient was and who they had contact with. Experts are in the middle of a long series of interviews trying to gather that information. And the third point is that there's a lot of misinformation you need to be wary of. They stress it's important not to believe everything you read online or hear in conversation. Health officials say the most credible information comes directly from them. I think that uh, the local health department website, the Ohio Department of Health website, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have a lot of really good information about Ebola. There's a lot of material there, though, and so if people have checked it and haven't looked at it in a while, they may want to go back and look again because there's continual updates to the material that's there. Um, but there is really great information there. Health officials say while this is a very serious concern, even they are not changing their daily lives. They say practicing careful hygiene and again, making sure you have credible information is the best thing that you can do to protect yourself. Reporting in Akron, Lauren Wood, WKBN 27 First News.